Hi, this is Mr. B, and I just want to show you how to find some unit rates, especially unit rates that involve fractions. So this is coming from our seventh grade book, and if you want to follow along on your book, uh, you may do that. So taking a look at, this is page 86 right here, and this is really kind of review at this point, where we're looking at how to do some unit rates right here. Looks like Nathan and Dan are both hired as lifeguards for the summer, and they receive their paychecks for the first week. Who earns more per hour? So right there we see this is language right here that looks like uh, unit rate language, and we're going to find out how much money they make per hour. Now, in setting up a unit rate, just as review right here, we want to look at the words right here. It's the earnings per hour right here, and that tells us how to set up these numbers. We want the hours to be the second term in our unit rate. That's the bottom number right here. When we set it up like this, uh, the second term is going to... Uh, to look like this just if you want to use a ratio bar like this where we have hours at the bottom and the amount of money at the top up here so he makes 78.75 for nine hours so this is our setup right here we want to just know how much for one hour and then we would solve that uh, that proportion uh, you can divide by nine and divide by nine to find our amount right here that they find uh, same thing with uh, Nathan over here. We want per hour, so we want to make sure we're setting it up with hours on the bottom, right? If, if it, the hour is the second term here, hours is going to be the second term here. Okay, this is the term that becomes one right here. So then he has 46.25, and they work it out for us. I'm not going to go ahead and work this out. Of course, you can also look at this and say, all right, I see this right here. This is a math problem. This is 46.25 divided by 5, which is exactly what we need to do to find our unit rate, just like we did up here. We can see, oh, I did 78.75 divided by 9, which is exactly kind of what we see in our ratio right here, 78.75 divided by 9. So that is our process, our general process of finding a unit rate. So let's look at what happens when we have fractions. So these are unit rates involving unit fractions, which is something different uh, for seventh grade. In sixth grade, we don't deal with fractions in or within a unit rate, uh, but we do in seventh grade. So let's take a look at this example right here. Sergio right here is training for a triathlon. His target speed, that's what he wants to do. He wants to do six, uh, 25 miles per hour, and we're looking at the information that we see here in our uh, graphic. He does seven miles for 15 minutes. That right there is going to be our ratio that we know, and then we're going to change it into a ratio that we don't know, which is our unit rate. We want to find miles per hour, so what do we put on the bottom? The hours, exactly, or the time, rather. And the time is 15 minutes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change 15 minutes into a fraction of an hour. Now, I will also say this. Here's our seven miles at the top. I'll also say this is a very intuitive problem. Many of you can look at this and just in your head, you've got the answer already. I'm working out the problem uh, that involves a fraction and showing you how to do it uh, on paper so that when it is not intuitive, you still can uh, go through a process of finding the answer. So once we have this set up right here, here's our time, here's our hours. So we have miles over hours, and we want one full hour. We can kind of see what we need to do here is multiply by four and multiply by four. And that's what they do in the, in the example uh, down below. So 28 miles per hour is it. The graphic down here shows you the same thing. And it also sets it up kind of in the form that we wrote it with uh, not necessarily a table, but with two equal ratios. Now let me go back here and just, I'm going to erase some of this stuff, just to look at this in a different way. So 7 to 1 fourth. 7 to 1 fourth also can be thought of as 7 divided by 1 fourth. If we look at this uh, symbol right here, that ratio bar as a division symbol, we can set it up as a division symbol. How do we do 7 divided by 1 fourth? Well, we can just uh, multiply by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 1 which is the number 4. So 7 times 4 is 28, and 28, and then that would be our miles per hour. Right there. That's just a different way of looking at this ratio as a division problem. 7 divided by 1 fourth. Multiply by the reciprocal, and that will take care of it. Now that will help us with fractions that is not so intuitive. We might have to think about it a little bit.
So here's an example right here with Bronwyn, who mows the lawn every other weekend. She can mow 12,000 square feet in two thirds of an hour. And she's looking at another lawn right here. Let's just stop at that point and say, you know what, I need to find out what her, her uh, rate is for how many feet per hour she can mow. So well, let's set this up. I see our two numbers. This is how many feet, this is how many hours. How will we set this up? I wanna know how many square feet per hour. So what do we put on the bottom? What is the thing that becomes the one? And yes, you are correct. It is the two thirds. That is the hours right here. And then the square feet is going to be here. So we set up our ratio like this. The setup is the most important part. If you can set up the ratio correctly and you kind of know where you're going with it, you're going to have this no problem. So how do we make two-thirds one? Okay, here's a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to go ahead and set up our two equivalent ratios and say, you know what? I need to multiply by the reciprocal because multiplying a fraction by the reciprocal always equals one. So that is our math problem that we do with our first term, 12,000 times three halves. Well, we come off to the side, we do our math. We have 12,000 times three halves. This is just our, our scrap paper over here, uh, which is 36,000, and that's divided by two, which is 18,000. So 18,000 square feet per, uh, per hour, right there. Now, the rest of the question is, if this is true, 18,000 square feet for one hour, how many hours will be 36,000 square feet? So now we have set up our proportion here with two equivalent ratios using our unit rate. And we can see that the answer, we can solve this however. We can see that the answer is going to be uh, two right here, so two hours. Here are some examples that we had for our warm up. So let's kind of go through these and see how we solve these. Number one, a bag that is three fourths full weighs one half pound. How much will a full bag weigh? So we want to know one full bag. I'm starting to set up our two equal ratios right here. And I'm thinking, okay, what is the one right here? It's one full bag. All right, so the bags are down here. And then the weight is going to be up here. The pounds are going to be up here. So let's go ahead and set up our two, uh, our two fractions here. The one half, that's our pounds. So it's going to look like this. Our three-fourths, three-fourths full, is going to look like this. That, that looks very odd, doesn't it? Having two fractions in a fraction. And that is what we call a complex fraction. Anytime we have decimals or fractions involved in a fraction, it is complex. So here we have one-half over or two or compared to three-fourths of a bag. And also we can look at this and say, you know what? That looks like a math problem right here. This right here, one-half divided by three-fourths. It's that math problem right there. So we can solve this in the same way. And we can notice, I can just multiply by the reciprocal. That's how I get one, so I'm going to jump over here and multiply by the reciprocal. One-half times four-thirds. I get four-sixths, so, or two-thirds. So it is two-thirds, two-thirds of a bag, I mean two-thirds pounds, gotta get those right, per bag, one full bag. So three-fourths of a bag is half a pound, um, and then one full bag would be two-thirds of a pound. Let's go ahead, and I'm on, I want you to go ahead and do number two if you want to just practice that and set it up. I'm going to pause for a second here. You can hit pause, and then I'll go over the answers. All right, let me go ahead and set up our unit rate. I want to know his speed miles per hour. I need to make sure hours are on the second term, the bottom here, two-fifths of an hour, five-ninths of a mile. So this is going to require me to multiply the, by the reciprocal. Now I can just jump over here and just say, oh, let's just, let's jump to the, to the work here. Two-fifths, five-halves. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal right away. I get 25 over 18. So our unit rate is 25 eighteenths. By the way, this is the answer right here, 25 eighteenths. I do need to clean this up a little bit here because it is an improper fraction. So I know it's going to be 1 and 7 eighteenths. So 1 and 7 eighteenths. Okay, well, I hope that helped you understand how to do some unit rates involving fractions.